When it comes to your Stage 1 E85 DASA tunes, does your website display horsepower and torque numbers based on just ECU tunes, or are the dyno numbers usually with other added modifications? Usually all of our numbers, Stage 1, will be bone stock. Um, the DASA, I'm trying to remember what exact configuration I mean, it, it, it should be with the supporting mods it, that are required. If it's going to require, oh, of course, yes. If there are required yeah. mods, then, then those will so, be on the vehicle. So I think Stage 1, we've always tried to just... Yeah, do it on a stock. Car, I'm trying to so. see what we list here because there's no required modification. I, I remember the dead center was completely stock, but after we did, yeah. Well, stage two is going to require you know the racing cat. It's going to require an intake and an intercooler. I mean, yep. the, so then we would do it with those things. Yep. But we should we should specify. Yeah, I believe that's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, what is that I recommended? I don't know if on that one we listed any differences. So it should have just been all stock hardware. Yeah. Um, I do remember installing the stock intake. TTRS when we did those. Yes. So, yeah. Um, our goal isn't to, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to normalize or isolate the variables when we advertise these tunes. So, so a stage one, the idea is you just flash a stock car. Yep. Unless a, a, a supporting mod is required, you know, for example, the intercooler is just not big enough or something. Stage two is always going to have that required mod of uh, the high flow cat. But um, then the intake is going to add to that. The other mods will add to that. Yeah, and that's where we always struggle to, you know, find that balance is do we do, we do a, you know, fully strong out stage one file with all the re recommended mods? Because um, that is going to get you much closer to stage two numbers. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it's a tough thing. We can either, you know, information overload you sometimes and, you know, list all the different iterations that we could possibly measure. So, no, we all the stage one stuff, though, we, we dyno it uh, with the required hardware on it. The idea is if you want to know how much our intake makes, you can go look at the intake yep. page, and then we, we show that yep. as well. So that, that's what you'll see with yep. the data. So there's just so many permutations. It's like, you know, because the intake, we want to show what, you know, what kind of the biggest change will be. So generally, that'll be on, like, a stage two or an even bigger uh, configuration, uh, just because it's going to be so much more of a, of a pressure drop. I will say with the DAZA specifically, every stage we offer is the maximum power that that can be made safely. That's what we do. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, and so you're not going to find a more powerful, faster tune on the market than what we offer. Uh, and then there's the drivability and the OEM safety features and the throttle performance mm -hmm. and all the stuff that we always talk about that that we believe our tune will excel over anything else you find.